What's up everybody, this is Scootly back with another tutorial with the Art of Rome. Um, today I just want to show y'all how to do some, uh, make some rain effect using uh, Cinema 4D and uh, Distortion. There's a current tutorial out there already, but um, the guy didn't record his voice, so hopefully this guy, this will help you guys out a little bit uh, by hearing me walk you through the process. So uh, open up Cinema 4D. First thing we want to do is get a phone call. Sorry about that. First thing we want to do is uh, make a plane. Then we want to go to the attributes of the plane and resize it to something crazy like uh, 4000 for this tutorial. We'll add some more segments as well. Um, we'll do 80 on width and height. Next thing we can do is add an emitter. Um, let's rotate the emitter so that it's flush with the plane. Okay, now we can, uh, we want to move the emitter up into the air, what would be considered the sky. We want to resize the emitter, so go to attributes, click on emitter, and resize the X and Y axis or size to, uh, let's do a little bit smaller than the plane, let's do 3000. So right now, if we click play, the emitter is going to spit out a few particles, not very many. So we can fix that by going to the emitter's attributes, clicking particle, change the birth rate to 100. Let's change the speed to something like 1200. And click play. Now it's looking more like... Uh, a pretty good steady rain. So now we want the rain to interact with the plane. We're going to do this by going to MoGraph, go down to Displace Deformer, and make the Displace Deformer a child of the plane. Then let's go into, let's Click the Displace Deformer, go to its attributes. Uh, let's look at the shading. Where it says Shader, click the triangle and go to Effects. In Effects, you want to go to Proximal. Then click Proximal and we'll make some changes to it, to the shader. Um, we'll change. First thing you want to do is take the emitter and drag it to the objects window of the attributes where it says shader properties and objects drag your emitter in there now we'll make some changes go down to uh, blend mode change the blend mode to exclusion change the start distance to 80 the end distance to 300 now let's click play and see what we get that's looking pretty good. I'm going to, just for the sake of the tutorial, move the plane up a little bit so you can see a little bit clearer. Move the emitter up a little bit. Just click play again. That's looking pretty good. Um, so that's basically it for this tutorial. Um, I'm going to tell you a couple of things you can do though that you can play with and tweak around. Um, the first thing is the emitter itself. You can go into the emitter, you can change the birth rate, you can change the speed. Like if I increase the speed, you'll see it increase the uh, birth rate, just increases how much comes through. Let's restart it. So now it's just a ton of rain. 
Another thing you can change on the Displace Deformer itself, go to the Displace Deformer and click on Object. You can change the strength and the height of what looks like the water interacting with your plane. For instance, if I drag the strength all the way down to a negative 100, see you can see that as you increase it the waves what look like waves tend to decrease you can change the height as well the depth I guess you could say the height so that <laughs> they look more like uh, mountains at that point so you just kind of want to keep it I like it subtle so I'll keep mine at 10. I'll keep the uh, strength down, negative 100. So that's basically it, guys. I hope this clears up a few things. I, I mean, I, I look for the tutorials. I look through them, and, and I try to learn different things that people have out there and try to create my own thing and offer them it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody.